there are lots of tools to help us stay fire safe. You're probably familiar with smoke alarms and fire extinguishers, but I want to take you through a few of the other tools that we get questions about in the office. First up is a stovetop fire stop. It's an automatic fire extinguisher designed to sit under the vent hood in your kitchen. It connects by a magnet, you set it and forget it. If there's ever a fire on your stovetop, it ignites this fuse and drops the extinguisher down on top of the fire, containing the fire and giving you time to escape safely. Another fire safety tool we get a lot of questions about are escape ladders. Remember that these are designed to help you escape from second or third story windows in a residential home. The first thing to consider is read the directions to make sure that you're installing your tool appropriately. So this one says to hook these on and then roll it out. Next step is to pull the tab and let it deploy. As you can see, a handy tool, but not really a safe choice if you've got young children or anyone with mobility issues who would find this difficult to climb down. Next up is a fire blanket designed to hang on the wall in your kitchen. And then if there's ever a fire, just pull the tab, pull the blanket out and throw it over the fire, keeping the fire contained and giving you time to escape safely. Some other fire safety tools out there are a smart burner replacement burner, which will actually replace the electric coils and gas burners in your stove, so the temperature never gets hot enough to ignite the oil in your pan. There are also motion sensors that you can plug in to your stove, so that way if it detects that nobody's in the room, it turns the power off. Remember, whenever you're choosing a fire safety tool, to consider the needs and abilities of everyone in your household. And remember, the most important fire safety tool is you. Pay attention to prevention.